I don't see this trial turning around. And Coleman's still on the jury. It's one vote. Sonny yelled in open court that Claudia got what she deserved. How can the other jurors buy that it was self-defense? Well, jumping bail solves the problem of Sonny going to prison, but Michael's still going to be motivated to confess. He's not going to stop talking till everyone believes the truth. And Michael killed Claudia, and Sonny didn't. Dr. Scorpio Drake, I appreciate that the memory of the night Claudia was bludgeoned to death is difficult. After all, you've already told us that Sonny said in a toast to his late wife, he said she was a bitch, and that he implied that she would soon be dead. Your Honor, I'm sorry, is there, is there a question in our future? Move it along, Miss Walsh. At any point during the so-called toast, did Sonny refer to the baby? Correction. His baby. That his late wife miscarried. Yes. And what did he say? <sighs> Dr. Scorpio Drake? He said, thank God that baby wasn't born into our lives. Anything else? Thank God you'll never bear my child. Okay, assuming I can talk Sonny into leaving, and I'm not sure I can, how's this gonna work? Well, we're gonna have to make it fast, whatever it is. The cops are already watching me. Lucky's been suspicious since the arraignment. Okay, well, where's Sonny go? South America. Everything's set up. We can fly Sonny out in the middle of the night. What about Michael? You know, if, if Sonny jumps bail and Michael comes home, the police are going to meet okay, Michael at the airport. What if Michael goes to South America with Sonny, just for, just for a little while? Oh, sure, if you want to drag him over my dead body. Come on, Carly, Jason. then what are we going to do? Sonny's going to leave, Michael's going to come back, Claire's going to bring him in for questioning. He will confess to protect Sonny. Okay, you know, you know what? There are no good options, I know there's Jason. Not. I know that. I know. Sonny disappears, Michael blames himself. Sonny goes to prison, Michael is destroyed. Mr. Corinthos has referred to his wife as, let's see, a lying whore, a psychotic piece of trash. He also informed the guests at her so-called birthday party that Claudia has lied for the last time. Is that correct? Objection. Asked and answered. Move it along, Miss Walsh. At what point during this tirade did Claudia take Carly hostage? Sonny asked uh, his men to take Claudia home. That's when she pulled a gun out of her purse and started waving it around. And when you say his men, who do you mean? Sonny's bodyguards. Could you describe his bodyguards? They're about six feet tall. Um, they're pretty big guys, probably over 200 pounds. And how would you describe Claudia? Smaller. The autopsy lists her as 5'4", 110 pounds. Your Honor, why bother to call a witness if Miss Walsh herself is going to testify? Sustained. Claudia was smaller than the guards. And that's when she pulled the gun as they were moving toward her? Yes. Would you say that Claudia was trapped? Yes. Could you be more specific? Claudia was standing in front of a bank of elevators. That's when she grabbed Carly and shoved a gun into her side. And then Carly went into labor. And then what happened? Confusion. Could you be a little more specific? Jason Morgan pulled a gun. Uh, Carly was yelling at him, telling him to shoot Claudia. Did he? No. So, Claudia was trapped. She must have been terrified, and there was no chance of an escape. Objection, Your Honor. She's testifying again. Sustained. Miss Walsh, this is becoming a bad habit. Break it. Claudia jammed a gun into the side of a woman who was in labor and then dragged her into the elevator. Your Honor, no further Before questions. No one... Does the defense wish to cross-examine? I absolutely do, Your Honor. Thank you. And for the court's record, Sonny Corinthos' primary bodyguard weighs 237 pounds dripping wet. Dr. Scorpio Drake, you and Sonny have been friends for a long time. Isn't that correct? Yes. Asked and answered? Move it along. On the night that... Claudia kidnapped Carly. Sonny had just found out that Claudia was responsible for his son, Michael, getting a bullet in the head, right? Objection. Claudia is not on trial here. Overruled. You opened the door to Michael Corinthos, Ms. Walsh. Yes, Sonny had just found out. That's why he was saying such terrible things. Objection. Overruled. Don't push me, Ms. Walsh. Proceed. 
Sonny loves his children very much. He is a wonderful father. He gladly would have traded places with Michael when he was in that coma. Objection, speculation. Sustain, He it down. would give his Stop. life for his children. And Sonny is one of the most decent and kind people I have ever met. And you know this because you've known him a long time. I asked and I answered, a teenager, I have you consider him ever one of my noticed closest your friends. honor you relatives? Permit those to be abusive to a woman. Phrase, have you ever seen Sonny Corinthos hit a woman? No. Objection. Counsel is leading the witness away from her own question. She's right, Miss Miller. We need an answer, Dr. Scorpio. Have you ever known the defendant to be abusive to a woman? I mean, is it abusive to say terrible things to someone that you know is responsible for putting your son in a coma for over a year? I mean, that's for each individual to decide. Your Honor, she's hedging. Sonny is a wonderful man. He gets upset, he says things that he shouldn't, but no, I have never, ever seen him hit a woman or threaten to. Thank you. No further questions, Your Honor. <sighs> Ms. Walsh? I think the jury has heard what they need to hear. Objection, prejudicial. Witness is excused. Call your next witness, please. The prosecution calls Maxie Jones. Sonny's scary, so it's, it's not a big step for the jury to think that he just lost it and killed Claudia. What if Robin's testimony helps? Are you serious? Say Robin? <laughs> She's going to be doing nothing but telling the truth and nothing but the truth, no matter how many lives she destroys, she Jason. might help get the attention off of Michael. Okay, even if she could get the jury to believe that Sonny's a good father, Claire has already shown the jury that Sonny can get mad enough to bludgeon a woman to death. And now Robin's going to make the jury think that Father of the Year Sonny is protecting Michael by sending him away so he won't testify. Your Honor, as Ms. Walsh well knows, Maxie Jones is currently in General Hospital. She is suffering from septicemia and pneumonia. She is far too ill to testify. Ms. Miller's attempts to block this testimony only prove how vital it is. I know you love Sonny, Rob. I understand that. That must have been very painful for you. But you still want him to go to jail? I admire you for telling the truth, even when your heart was screaming not to. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling a brief recess so I may determine whether or not Miss Jones is well enough to come to court. I remind you not to discuss the case with anyone or among yourselves, do not leave this building for any reason. Support is in recess. for anything you've got to understand and you told the truth but sometimes the truth isn't the whole story you know i didn't know they were going to make me quote you word for word on one of the worst nights of your well, life you said some good things too it wasn't enough you stepped up okay that's the kind of person that you are you've always been like that even when you're with stone you, you, no matter how bad the truth is you deal with it okay i admire that do you think Diane will be able to turn things around you for you? I don't want you worrying. No matter what happens in that courtroom, I'm going to be fine. I just want you to know that I did not expect you to lie on that stand for me. Okay? The fact that you believe in me means everything to me. Hey, hey. The judge is ready to start. 